A respiratory therapist is a specialist in cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Basically, we're experts of the lungs and the airway. We respond to emergency situations often. When, when a patient is having trouble breathing, that's when you'll find us. It's a very well diverse field that is not only um, hands-on, it's also like, yeah, I also have to think. So it's a, I think it's a very good mix of um, clinical reflection and working with your ends. We bring in expertise in airway management, uh, in putting the tubes in, securing them, and then managing the ventilators afterwards to make sure that uh, the patient is breathing well and um, that they're well cared for. Doctors have a, like a very general view of your patient. Nurses, they're very good, they deal with everything, but we're very much focused on the lungs. So I don't think the level of expertise we have can be replaced by either a nurse or, or a doctor, but it's very much the work together that makes it worth it. You have to talk with your doctor and you have to talk with your nurse and you have to have a good teamwork in order to do what's best for the patient. Uh, so the three main ones in the hospital are the OR, the operating room, uh, the intensive care unit, the ICU, and PFT, pulmonary function testing. Each one is very different. So intubation is when we put a, a breathing tube into somebody's trachea, and then afterwards we're securing the tube to the patient's face, we're putting them on the ventilator, making sure that air is going in and out, the patient is breathing and that they're okay. Also, we, we respond to um, pediatric code pinks, so a cardiac arrest when a baby is born. We'll be there as well to secure the airway, make sure the baby's breathing and okay. Um, and then pulmonary function testing, that's completely just done by RTs. We're, uh, we're the ones that manage the computers and the equipment that the patient's breathing into. Anesthesia machines as well, we help the patient breathe while they're asleep for the surgery and control uh, how much medication they're getting to keep them asleep. Uh, you need someone who loves science and all the weird healthcare show. If you watch Grey's Anatomy and you were interested, well, real life's better. So I would say someone that wants a dynamic work environment, that they're on their feet, they're moving around, they're working with people all the time. So you can really get what you want in this field. So if you're somebody who really likes routine, you can find something that's routine. So let's say you're in function testing, you will do the same test over and over again. Um, if you are in ICU, you'll get different patients every day. So that's not routine at all. If you go to anesthesia, you have the same type of surgery, but different patients, so they can react differently. There's something for everyone. I work at the trauma center, so I really, I find the traumas very exciting for sure. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, it gives you a lot of self-confidence. You will amaze yourself with the stuff that you get to do. You have to be mature. You have to know um, that this is a serious job. There's lives at risk. The Vanier prepared me really well. All our teachers, they have to work as well in the hospital at the same time. They can't, they're not just teaching, they're spending a few days a week in the hospital as well. So they're completely up to date with what's happening in the hospital. I think everybody in our last year got a job like this. Um, it's very easy because there's a need for them, not only in the English sector, but also in the French sector. RTs are needed everywhere. RTs have been very tested um, during this, this pandemic. They've been very rewarded too. Um, with the fact that before the pandemic, you didn't really know what respiratory therapy was. But now everybody knows us. Um, it's getting uh, more recognition. When you hear people say like, thanks to respiratory therapists on the radio, I get teary eyes. I'm, it's very rewarding. We've heard a lot about ventilators and are we gonna have enough ventilators? That's, uh, we're the ones that operate the ventilators all the time. And it's been a challenge. Um, and yeah, I think we're, we're more needed than ever before. It's nice to see one of a, a COVID patient that was very, very sick, slowly get better. And then you know, wow, I did this. I helped this person. Personally, I didn't know rest care existed. So I went online, I looked up the jobs, and then I saw this, I read the description. It seemed very interesting, yet I was like, why didn't, did we never hear of it? I'm someone who loves to talk to people. I'm someone who loves to take care of people. I'm someone who likes to do with my hands. 
and that seems like the job that's going to be more fitting for me. Uh, I thought, okay, I, I need a good job now, I need a serious career, and so I, I came to Vanier and uh, it's a good program, three years only, and your third year you're already in the hospital, sort of getting that experience, and I love it, so yeah, I would definitely say it's a good option. Even if it gets challenging, it's kind of rewarding at the end when you see your patient extubating, smiling with their family, it always gets to me. You get to feel like you're really making a difference when you're helping a patient and when they, uh, uh, you know, maybe you're seeing somebody on what could be the worst day of their life and you're there to help them and to help them get through that. And that's a really rewarding feeling. Yeah, I think it's the instant gratification that you get from helping people and just giving them a treatment that can seem very simple, like giving some Ventolin. But then after that, you can see that they're breathing better and they can talk to you. Uh, it's the patient interaction that you get from it. But the way that we get to recognize this profession is by promoting it, is by um, trying it out. Uh, and honestly, you wouldn't regret it. If you look at it and you see yourself in the description, if you listen to this video and you're like, yes, I like that. This is me. Just do it. Do it. You'll like it.